Hey everyone, welcome back. So there's just five minutes left to end this day completely. And yes, we are going to do something again. But what is it? Okay, this is it. So are we ready? Of course, why not? So at first, I'll be declaring three variables of integer type. The first one will denote the number of rows that we want to print in our pattern and the remaining two will be used for looping. So let me just add them first. Rows, comma, i, comma, j. Now after this, I'll write a printf function inside which I'll print a message saying enter the number of rows. Now let's initialize the value to that variable called rows. For that, I'll add a scanf function percentage d comma ampersand rows semicolon at the end. Now, in order to print that particular pattern, we'll be using for loop. So let me initialize for loop first. So the value of the variable i will start from 1 and it will go up to less than or equals to the number of rows that we'll be printing in our pattern and i plus plus at the end and inside this for loop we'll use a next for loop. So this is how the concept of nested looping seems like. So let me just add the for loop there. J will start from 1 and it will go up to less than or equals to the value of variable i j plus plus at the end now inside this for loop we'll be printing the value of the variable j which will give us the pattern that we want so let me just add printf percentage d comma j now just to add some spaces between the numbers i'll be adding space there semicolon at the end so since we want to save the control to the next line after each iteration so for that i'll be adding a printf inside which i'll write slash n so this will simply print the numbers into the new line after each iteration and yes we are done so let's run this code and see whether this works fine or not and yes it's working so we have been displayed a message enter the number of rows. So if I'll enter the number of rows equals to five, then a pattern will be displayed. So we have five rows here and that was the pattern that we were trying to create. So this is all for now. Thank you so much for watching. I'll be back with another video soon. Until then, keep watching.